Hi guy, apologies for the uh, weird view. I'm trying my best to uh, get the Scion working in a good light. Uh, just turn the backlight on there. It's actually a lot brighter than it seems probably on camera because it seems to stand out better in the human eye than it does on a camera lens. I, I couldn't tell you why. But uh, yeah, uh, basically I, I spent some time on it last night installing uh, a good chunk of programs. You can just see there. I was just playing around to test it. I've not gone overboard yet. I had a few issues getting the compact flash card to work. I'm told if you don't format it correctly, it can corrupt the games. Uh, in particular, I'll show you in a minute where we'll try and load one. As you can see there, just a few tiles. There's not much space on the C drive, equivalent of the, the main hard drive. I see you get three there, 11 megs out of uh, 16. So I've used about 5 megs so far. Uh, my plan is not to install the games on this one, but to put them on the compact flash drive as you can see I've called it LOF there uh, oh that was I say that was just a file I went to for it's, it's compass corrupt because I've not done the format properly it's a bit bloody annoying uh, and come anyway anyway as you install the games they go under extras and you get individual icons for each one uh, successful ones I mean, South Park that's quite I can't turn it on now because basically all it is Every, every few minutes, it's a bit like a screensaver, except it's a sound saver, so you get joke comments coming out. Let's, uh, let's, uh, there we go. Let's just go back to system time. And anyway, sorry, that's a bit, a bit distracted there. Every so often, South Park should kick off. Uh, something I have put on, Z80 emulator that we can run 6,000 games I haven't got any ROMs or anything to put on it yet uh, it's, it's, I don't know I'm depending on how this, well this video comes out I will probably do some footage on it later I'm not sure just how well you, you know looking at this and you just thinking well that screen's a bit crummy it's a bit better in person obviously it's a 90s uh, LCD style screen so it's not the best but if we, we open something there, there you go, oh, that's the actual spectrum and you could if you wanted to see I'm there, I'm typing away on the keyboard, it's actually a full spectrum interface, you could do your own coding and, and actually, because you're probably thinking, well what's this keyboard like? it's very very similar, you, you can type properly on it very very responsive and uh, probably one of the, the main reasons for having them now uh, something on here, one of the particular reason that's real handy for me for work run a program there called Jotter and they like post-it notes and, you know I can just tap a, tap a couple away uh, and then the thing is new entry see and you can do it like post-it notes you can just keep doing them and then it saves them to the the flash card so then you can maybe keep a, a constant list like uh, agenda I've not filled out but you can put like an active diary on there so I could put what's that Saturday Put an entry in there if I wanted, then it save it, have an alarm on it, it does the alarm clock and everything. Now it runs off a couple of AA batteries and there's a CR2032 backup battery. The point is if the main batteries the double A's run out, it switches over to them to work. So it never cuts you out completely, but you've still got to keep an eye on it. Uh, let's just go back to the extras, have a quick look. I probably should have put a better game on, but uh, I think I should like bombs, I think you've already seen, but let's just go to this is a, a, a bit of a fun railway game. I've not had much play out of it, <laughs> as you can probably tell. That's pretty based. That doesn't really show off what it can do. Bombs is nice and simple. There we go. Bombs is basically Minesweeper. I think I mentioned it in the manual of the other video. C1, so there's one in that area. There we go. That'll be one there. I could mark that one if I wanted. But that one's probably clear. Two, that would be that one, so two, then two. One will be that one. Yeah, you never forget how to play this. It'd be that one, I'll be that one. There's two there, so it'd be that one, so that one will be clear. Hey, anyway. <laughs> Hours of fun. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. It's going over to uh, calculator. Uh obviously now you've got your string and numbers there, but you can use a touch screen. My touchpad and I work and see that it's missing the rubber bit off the end but the screen it doesn't scratch the screen because I don't know what sort of 
touch sensitive layer it is. It feels a bit like uh, original DS, very strange. But uh, it's pretty responsive, you can see there. But uh, I do have, just one second, this is how prepared I am. But on my iPad, uh, I do have a touch pen, which has got a nice rubber tip on, so it'd just be the same thing really. Let's just clear that one. There you go, and then you could just type with this one. Not as good actually with a rubber tip, it doesn't catch it as much, but with a, a harder, more firmer end on it. Oh my god, that does sound a bit risky. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased with this. Uh, sheet, simple Excel stuff. Oh, I'll just go back to the sheet, I put it on, but you can do graphs and all sorts of stuff. There's a presentation maker, and this is just stuff for words. I know it's very, very boring, but it's just really, really handy. Yes, you can get all this stuff on, like, you've been playing that already. You'll get all this sort of stuff on uh, your, your iPhone or your iPad or something like this. But the Nust, this is compact, plus it's got that keyboard, and that, that's the keyboard, because you can actually see yourself, you know, because you can be sat there in a meeting like this or something, talking away. Jotting notes down, typing da 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 da, or you slap it on a table and then, because I can, you know, I can actually type, but it, it, it's really, really handy. Uh, what else is there? You might be seeing what, what it's like as a system. That's the file access menu that happens in every program. So if you've got something open, so if we go back to the railway one, press file, top left. Hang on. So we mid restart there. And then you get options for every game and, you know, language, game, speed, help, usual stuff as you would with any Windows program. Uh, not sure what that one is. That's communications. Uh, that's contrast. You can fiddle with that if you want. I think I've got it just at the right level for me to use at the moment. So, yeah, pretty, pretty pleased with it. You can set it up with email, but it'll go to Outlook, but I've got no way of connecting it direct because Windows 10 doesn't work with, with Cywin, which is the transfer program. And I've got a super duper gaming PC, I haven't got a serial port on the back. But I do plug, you pick them up fairly cheap on eBay, so I'm probably going to get one at some point. So yeah, yeah, really, really pleased with that. Really nifty, uh, nifty device. There's your typical world map from back in the 90s. I'm sure you all had one of these and you had them tiny like tiger toys with them all. <laughs> well, that's what it looks like in, in a proper businessman's world. <laughs> so yeah, anyway guys, as always... There he goes, that, 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 was, that was the South Park thing kicking off. You can't run MP3s on it, um, basically because it's just they came out after I think this came out, so it just wasn't coded very well, so it's just low stereo at the moment. Bit of a shame, but it does have, uh, I'll just show you on the back actually, it does have a microphone on it, uh, as well as a speaker, so it actually, you know, it's got full, full functioning microphone so you can record talking stuff so it's basically a dictaphone as well so really really handy I'll just show you this is where the old uh, flash car goes in actually just slides straight out I didn't realize because when I put this card in my PC that go so it goes in that way at the it's on the adapter I've got and I was like oh my god it won't fit in and I was messing with ages and I could get it to slide down a bit more and it would just about fit and I realized oh hang on a minute <laughs> As you can see, it's ever so slightly marked because that was the force, I couldn't get it out. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. And of course, that's the, uh, I don't know how much useful it is, but that's a C2032. That's an Energizer one which just lasts forever. So I'm hoping, actually, I might have got a bit lucky there now that we've re jigged that. No, the game's. Are... I, I need to have a, a, a proper mess with it as a bit. Oh, this not present. You see what I mean? That's that's the other problem I, I've had with it. I think uh, <laughs> it's blowing the slots. If it's not all the way down, it doesn't pick it up a hundred percent. This not present. Anyway, there we go. Uh, yeah, I need to have a play around with it. But yeah, pretty pleased with that, guys. I say, if, you, if you're tempted by it, you can pick them up fairly cheap. Uh, there is a Game Boy emulator as well. I've not had a chance. I've, I've, I've cause you, it's, you've got to register it at the same time you play it. So uh, I've got the files to do that. I take a lot of messing around. I'll, I'll do it at another time. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Very chuffed with it. You might have a use. For, you might not. If, if you're tempted to try one, something similar, you can get the the Series Freeze for about twenty quid. They're all. I mean, this is a sixteen meg one. 
Uh, those are about half a mega or 256k. So you probably, you know, you get what you expect with those. So you'll get basic like clock tools and a jotter equivalent and word and maybe maybe sheet if you're lucky. But again, they're meant to be a much more basic stick in your pocket file fax type thing. These are a bit more advanced and they do a lot more. So yeah, it depends what you want. Still hasn't loaded. A bit bloody annoyed by that. I spent ages putting all them games on. That's Sketch anyway. Hi, I think I've showed that off last video. So as you can see, I've not been using that. Oh, <laughs> nice metallic scrape there. Doesn't leave a mark on the screen. I don't know how well you can see that. Anyway, as always, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe below. Actually, please do comment on this because I have no idea if anyone would like to see more footage. Of, maybe you know I could do. I do gameplay videos. If you want to see more of the actual games on it, I, I might dig it out later. It's just I don't think it records too well on the camera. So uh, yeah, yeah. Let me know, guys, and we'll uh, we'll take it from there.